Hi you guys! Alright, oh, I am so, so, so excited to show you this haul. I haven't been excited about stuff I've bought in a long time. <laughs> I mean, I was excited about stuff that I bought in Berkeley and things like that, but when you find, like, treasures, is how I call them, and for, like, really cheap, excuse me, you guys, I just had a little traumatic issue with eating rice. <laughs> Don't ask. Oh, man. <clears throat> Excuse me, I am not doing good right now. Uh, so if you see the rice here in a minute, no. Oh, my hands are red. <gasps> my hands, whoa. I'm under a, a window, so anyways. All right. I'm so, so excited. I already said that. I, 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 I made a video, but I decided not to upload it because it was like a few things that I got from Tuesday morning, and Paula gave me a few things from the Heidi Swap planner line and I was like no I'm not gonna do a video of that I don't need to show every single thing I bought I like to show if it's things that I think you guys need to go get but I pulled a few things from that haul video that I do want to show you so Tuesday morning and Michael's I have been kind of raking in the stuff there most of my stuff is art journaling based and it's just it cracks me up because I was telling, I was texting Rashida, she's on YouTube here, everybody knows Rashida Roseflower, and I was telling her, like, I don't know, she had texted something about a dye, and it's like, I never looked twice, I wouldn't even look at dyes, like, you know, that's so, uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Basically, I told her, I went back to, like, my roots, because when I first started scrapbooking, I really... I was always big American crafts, but, you know, I did a lot of, like, shabby chic and vintage and stuff, Seven Gypsies, um, Tim Holtz, and then, like, for five years, I didn't touch it. I did not like it. I didn't, you know, there's still some stuff that I don't like from his lines, but it just cracks me up that now, these things that I'm grabbing, I wouldn't have touched months ago. I don't, I don't know, and it's like I'm in a whole new, it's like this is my thing now. So, anyways, let's get into this. These are my gelatos right here, as you see. But at Tuesday morning, and of course I threw the package away because I already made the video. But it's in the kids section. And they're called Creamy Crayons. Now, I've tried them. And they are basically big old hanging gelatos. So, they were $6.99. And you can see these big ones. You get all these colors. you got a paintbrush. I don't have a black and I don't have a silver or a gold. So, oh, wait. Is that a gold? No, that's butterscotch. Oh, I guess that's kind of gold. Well, anyways, um, I wanted to show you guys these. It's, like I said, in the toys, and I always thought that these went in, like, the bathtub. <laughs> but, you know, I always passed them by. So, $6.99, and you get 1, 2, 3, oh, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I think there's 12. Big old knockoff gelatos. So I wanted to share that with you guys. Like I said, I just picked a few things because everybody's showing Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning's got some good stuff. Now, well, to me it's good stuff. If I wasn't like in my project life zone right now, I wouldn't even be in Tuesday morning. <laughs> but here we go. So those <clears throat> were a good find I wanted to show you at Tuesday morning. And then I'll just throw in some other stuff from Tuesday morning. Okay, Linda, who is, I think, LP Flower, LP, I can't remember, but she showed this. And if I don't know if you remember, but at Marshall's, I picked up one of these, and it had the stamps in it, and then I think I got another one had something in it. They were $6 there, and I was like, uh, you know, I didn't wasn't going to get them again. But Tuesday Morning has these now, and there's probably about four different um, designs. This is from the open book, and when she showed it, I just, oh my gosh. I'm not going to lie. For four, I mean, these are cute. These are fabric. Yeah, I don't know if I will use them that much. But you get these buttons, and I'm not sure I'll use those. I'll probably rack those. But it's these gold hearts right here. And I paid $5 for these gold hearts, which I could have probably punched out. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, maybe I'll return it. But anyways, and then you get these gold paper clips, or clothespins. So, Linda, you totally enabled me. Oh my gosh, all I want are those flat or those hearts. So I picked that up at Tuesday morning. They've got some inks out. I guess I'm just never gonna get my hands on Adirondack inks. <laughs> so I got this Versamark. I don't have multi-surface chalk ink, and it's a red, and I don't really have a good red. I have like Jenny Bolin red and things like that, but that I don't really use those anymore. I found this thin line glue. 
I do use my mono, my Tombow mono glue is my favorite glue and the only glue I use, but um, I thought that I would try this out because it was only a dollar and it's a thin line and it might be good in my art journal. And now, oh, here we go. Let me show this one too. <clears throat> this one, this was actually out in 2014. It's called Pen Pattern Tile. It's a Stampendous. They have a whole bunch of Stampendous stamps there now. And um, I picked up this one because it's just... It's just what I'm into right now. It's they had a lot of Christmas ones and really cute ones. A lot of foam ones. I got one foam stamp, but I just like these. These would be fun to color in and make a border. And they're photopolymer. So I picked up that one. And then this is the other one. This is how I'm storing. I remember I bought these bags at Daiso and then I went and got some cardstock, a big packet Tuesday morning because they're half off now. And so I'm just, this is how, so I can shuffle through them. Uh, my art journaling ones, not ones for Project Life, but um, they have foam stamps, and I think these were $1.50, so I just got these two because I can cut up words. I like stamps that I can cut up and kind of move around my words, so that was from a few days ago, <coughs> and then I picked up these Amy Tangerine Slick Writers because I never got these when they came out, and they were only $3.99. They did have the Heidi Swap ones there as well, but I don't think I would use those. Now, as far as I'm just cracking up that I got this stuff, like Prima, no, I don't do Prima. <laughs> I'm just not interested in Prima. It's cute stuff, but it's not my style. Excuse me, even though I'm looking at my four drawer system completely packed with Prima flowers from back in the day, but I was excited to see this stuff because, well, one, here we go. This can be used for anything, and you know my weakness is small alphas. These are the canvas ones. They have like three Prima lines right now, stamps included there. And this Hello Pastel is actually a knockoff, or no, the one at Michael's was a knockoff of this line. So I got these huge, for 99 cents, these canvas stickers, and these will go in my scrapbooking. And then I also got, because again, I guess, sorry for the shine glare. This one I actually was about to bring back, but because I don't really like the colors, but I think I'll use that in my art journal. But this one I will use in my Project Life, and um, my December Daily has this pink color in it. So I got those for 99 cents. I did pick up this stamp for 50 cents because I liked the snail mail. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just got it. And these were $1.50. They're just these art tiles, so new to me. I don't know what the heck these are, but I found a whole bunch of these, like, wood... Um, veneer pieces in the garage. I have just uh, bins full of old scrapbooking stuff that I was going to send over to Goodwill, but I found these blank pieces and I thought it would be fun, I'm going to say it, to alter. What? I don't alter. The only thing I alter is my kids' grades on their report cards. I'm just kidding. But I don't know what I'm going to do with these. I'm probably going to pass them on to somebody, but I was like, oh, I'm going to make a piece of wood with tile on it. Okay, this is what I'm excited about. I make teachers gifts at the end of the year. These poor teachers, you know, my kids all get the same teachers, which I absolutely love. But now my poor kids' teachers have like a whole uh, gallery full of pictures of my children because I go and decorate frames and I take pictures from open house and I usually use these on the frames and these were 50 cents. Say it in crystals, yes. I know, so old to you guys, but hello, 50 cents. And oh, it kind of hurt to buy these. <laughs> this is not me. But these are like the flowers that I use on the frames. But I was just excited because they were two bucks. But you guys that make stuff with flowers, you could probably do so much. These are just pretty flowers. So I believe that I raked it in at Tuesday morning. Alrighty, what else are we going to do? Okay. Michael's, um, this one's going to be quick. <clears throat> I like to remind you guys to go to your as is section because, you know, I'm like all into these water-based paint pens. These come in packages, but somebody must have opened them in the store. They're all sealed. These were a dollar each. And, or maybe actually this one might be from Walgreens. I think they're a dollar 49. No, I don't know. So I didn't have, I have the oil base of this one, but it doesn't work very good. And then these glitter ones are probably my favorite. These two were in a package together for $1.75. Seriously, that's the first thing I go to. And my Michaels is right down the street for me. I go way in the back of the store where nobody goes. And I just rake it in. Because it's just like that's where I've got my good brushes. 
like what a deal a dollar these are like $14.99 a pack ridiculous if you ask me and then I finally got I wanted to try this this is how I know I'm all into Tim Holtz I bought his tissue paper but this is not tissue paper that you can like wrap a present with this is like weird waxy paper I'm making a page right now with it and it's kind of getting on my nerves but I tore into it like it was a box of cookies but you're supposed to tear into it like it's saran wrap oh okay and then cut your finger on here good job Timmy and then bum 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 oh never mind yeah look at these look what I'm gonna try to do can you guess glass beads I was gonna make my own glass bead gel because I was too cheap to buy it but these are big so now I feel like I have to get micro beads on eBay <laughs> The things we do when we see stuff. Okay, this I'm so excited about because I don't own anything by Liquitex because I'm not spending money on expensive gesso or paint or anything like that. It's probably really good quality. I don't doubt that. And if I, you know, I just choose to spend it on other stuff. My gesso and my paint and I'm fine with it. So I don't have anything Liquitex. I saw these on clearance. These are regular $25. They, this says Whimsical Creations, and they had one with acrylic paints, they had ones with markers, and $6.99 for this box. I was out with my friend Jamie last night, I so miss her, she's my best friend, and I don't, um, she doesn't do crafts and stuff, so, you know, I've kind of been hanging with my crafty girls lately, and her and her husband are coming with us on our semi-annual, not semi-annual, triannual. I don't know. No, not try because it's not three. Dos annual. I don't know. Every two years you go to Disneyland and they come with us. And so we went out last night to get some stuff for it. Um, and so she was excited. Like I wasn't. She doesn't even know what this stuff is. So it was cracking me up. But um, okay, six ninety nine Liquitex. And you get because I've been wanting to try these acrylic. You know, I pick them up every once in a while, like ones on clearance, but you get this pink, this yellow, and this blue. You also get a nice black pen. It's like a Faber-Castell. You get a pencil. It's in there. You get a nice paintbrush, some watercolor paper, and a little booklet. And I just thought for $6.99 because I've been wanting to, I'm going to stock up and get every color of the rainbow of these um, from Hobby Lobby, and they're $6 each. So I thought... $6.99. They don't have these in my store. I went to a bigger Michaels, but um, I think that's a really good deal for Liquitex. And I used some of it last night, and it's really good quality. Um, speaking of Hobby Lobby, so I always go to the paint section in there, and this is Precious Metal Colors. I don't know what this stuff is used for, and I'm going to warn you about another one I'm going to show you. You probably shouldn't just open and buy and touch paints without knowing what they are. This one's okay, though. Um, really pretty pink. $1.93, and um, Viva's, you know, it's a good, it's a good brand. I, these are the ones, they are FW Pearlescent Liquid Acrylics, and again, I want like the colors of the rainbow, actually I want all of them, but $6, so I figured every time I go, I'll just use like a coupon, but I also had the yellow in my hand, and I'm glad I didn't get it because I had the yellow in here, but <clears throat> I got this green one because I liked the pearlescent ones, as you can see. I don't know, I just, I don't know. Yeah, I could probably make this, but I wanted these droppers. Um, and speaking of making your own, so Dina Wakely has some little, you know, I like how she's drawing with her paint and I think that you can get that effect in many different ways, but I only have one of her paints and I'm not paying $10 for an applicator. So I saw these little thin line squeeze bottles and I was like, oh, those are cute. I can make my own or, you know, I could do my own. Plus they're not huge, so I don't have to put a lot of paint in them. But then I looked deeper and inside are the same little, um, I took the focus off of my camera, so it's not going to focus for you, but they're the little teeny nib things to write on. Um, like she has, does that show? No. Well, you know what I mean? Like it's teeny. Can you see it? Yeah, there it is. Um, and you just stick it on here and you can write $2.99 for three of those. So that, if you're looking to do, you know, make your own, that is the way to go. And the last thing, 
I don't think this has anything to do with it, but I'm just going to throw this out here. My palms and my hands have been itching like crazy. And I have like eczema, I have dry skin, but it's not that. And um, I've just, it's, there's something, I don't know what's going on. I also have age spots. What the heck? Gosh, I'm only 21. Give me a break. Um, and I swore the tops of my feet were itching too. But anyways, I thought maybe it was this, but this is off of my skin now. So I'm like, oh, look at that purple. That's really pretty. It's only 95 cents. I don't know what this is. And who knows because it's all freaking off. This is like oil. I had it on my fingers. I couldn't get the smell off. It's like motor oil. And this, I swear this is like poison. It's obviously not, but I don't know what people use it for. I'm not using this. This is ridiculous. It's actually even ruined one of my brushes. It's all oily now. So be careful what you pick up. <laughs> or don't just go like put your finger in it and <laughs> be like I'm gonna draw with this poison and like now I don't have a finger sorry for people though I don't have fingers but and I don't know why I keep doing that so anyways oh that is my house pretty awesome huh that's pretty pretty darn awesome and that's good that I got this because um my husband won't come out and say it not that I'm like some spoiled little brat or anything but he's not gonna come out and say you have to stop buying things he can think it and he can give me that look like seriously did you need that but he's not gonna come out and be like no you can't anymore I mean unless like our house was gonna be taken away from us or something but I have to to take it upon myself to stop because April si or May 6th we're going to Disneyland I know I keep saying that and um, we own a Suburban and I don't want to put miles on it again like we did went to Disneyland So we want to rent a van. I haven't had a van in so long. It's like luxury to me So I'm so excited and it costs like 400 friggin dollars to rent a van So yeah, I have to take that $400 and not buy any more stuff and I have to go rent a van or we're gonna be hitchhiking to Los Angeles and then they're gonna drop me off in Hollywood because I have an audition later, but <clears throat> It's a big deal. I'll tell you how it goes. So anyways, thanks so much for watching. Go get y'all some Liquitex and some AT whatevers and I'm gonna go put my lipstick on. All right. Talk to you guys later. Bye For real, I tried to be all cute and it didn't even turn